And unlike Spain, in the jersey, we actually have a bike on the first day. Welcome back to the first vlog in Belgium. Um, I actually took a day off yesterday, so I unpacked my bike and then it kind of like cut through a day and now we're here. I went for a 140 kilometer bike ride yesterday. You know when you go for a ride and you've just got really good legs and you just want to keep riding and riding and riding and riding and just go as far and as long as you can? So I did four and a half hours. It's probably the best I've felt pretty much since I left New Zealand. So I really didn't want to just film. I didn't want to take the camera out. I had the camera at the GoPro with me, but I just wanted to enjoy my ride. So today is going to be the first video and I'm staying in this beautiful little town in Belgium like literally there's no one here and I'm on cobble roads these are the first cobbles I've ever been I rode up this road um, the other day rode up this cobbled climb the other day it's two and a half kilometers they use it um, in the Rond van Vlinderen I'm not sure if that was a very good pronunciation but I used it in like that race and the Tour of Flanders like super super hard climb I've never ridden actual cobbles and these cobbles are absolutely insane um, we're heading to Roubaix we're gonna head to France today we're about 35 kilometers away from France so that's why we've picked up the bike in the old rental car yeah we're going to do a little bit of investigating around France in the Roubaix area we're going to try and find the Roubaix cobbles we're going to go to the velodrome in today's video then tomorrow I'm doing my first ever Belgium Kermesse and then Sunday we're probably going to go and do all of the Flanders um, cobbles and stuff so if you want to stay tuned for that definitely subscribe to the channel on a one-day classic every rider thinks he has a chance to win after all anything can happen by a twist of fate but that doesn't apply to Paris-Roubaix, which is a race like no other, because Paris-Roubaix is unique. It's an ordeal, a trial by fire, a rite of passage. Of the 200 riders thrown onto the cobbled roads from Compiègne to Roubaix, only a handful can dream of winning, the queen of the classics. And the others are here, hoping to survive the 257 kilometers from Compiègne to Roubaix and the 29 cobbled sectors peppered on the course to make it through the much-feared Carrefour de l'Arbe, the mont en pavel sector or the Troupe d'Almer, to make their way through the dust and avoid punctures and crashes, and at the end, deliverance. On the Roubaix velodrome, there will be only one winner, even if those who cross the finish line will have something to remember until their last breath. Right, and we've made it to the famous Roubaix Velodrome. It seems to be under construction. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but it's so, so, so. I've watched so many Roubaix's in my life. It's probably my favorite race on the entire planet. And to actually be here at the Velodrome, even though it is under construction, is still pretty sick. Here we go. First steps on the famous Velodrome. It just seems, it seems to be open. I'm pretty sure what I'm doing is legal. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to be on here. So sick, as you can see. Over there by the signage, we're on the Roubaix Outdoor Velodrome. I was a little bit confused. You come in the gates, and there's actually like a big indoor velodrome just there. I was like, pretty sure it doesn't have a roof on it. And you keep driving, and then you can actually come here. And then you see the big Paris Roubaix Outdoor Velodrome. It is way, way longer than I thought it was going to be. It's pretty much, it's pretty much like a slightly, maybe like the double the length of the Wellington Velodrome outdoors. Um, it's absolutely ginormous. So I'd say it's probably almost like 800 meters long. So, so big. I'm going to go back to the car and grab my bike because I like, you know, I've got my bike here. And while I'm here, I might as well actually ride my bike around the bit of the Velodrome that I can because how sick is that? How sick is this? Roubaix Velodrome. Okay, it's a lot steeper up here than I thought it was going to be. A lot of gravel going on. Not sure if I want to go up there or not. Alright, that's just a little flat around the Roubaix Velodrome at the moment. There's a cafe across the road and apparently if you ask them nicely, they sometimes open up the showers. So it is lunchtime, so I'm going to go and have lunch there and see if I can convince them to open up the showers, which is just under there. And then I'm going to get kitted up and then I've got an hour to an hour and a half to go and do. Um, it's like a pre-race ride before the Kermis tomorrow. Velo Club Clubhouse, coffee bike. Yeah, no, she's... Bonjour. Bonjour. Uh, you guys closed? 
Which one? Maybe that one. This? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so they're actually closed, but I like knocked on the door because I saw some people were there because I saw something that I really wanted. You can buy actual Perry Roubaix novelty cobble, and I really, really want to take this home. So I like knocked on the door. It was 22 euros, which is pretty expensive, but how sick is that when I get to put that on my mantelpiece when I get back to New Zealand? All right, back on the bike. So I got an hour to an hour and a half easy today just to get ready for the race. Um, obviously, the velodrome is just there. But the guys in the shop keep telling me, it's closed, it's closed, you're not meant to ride on it, it's closed. So I'm gonna go for my ride, kind of mosey around um, Roubaix, and then come back and see if anyone's there, and then hopefully I can actually ride around it in my kit, which would be so sick. But yeah, as you come down here, this is like the actual big velodrome, so the actual indoor velodrome. Velodrome Convert Regional Jean Stablinski. God, I'm good at this French. The back of the velodrome. So this is like the stands and everything. Got a few Eddie Mercs up there. This part of the world is so sick. There's just so much cycling history and memorabilia and stuff. It's just, there's literally stuff everywhere. Here you go. Pararoo Bay, just this. Literally signs of cycling and this like professionals and history in the past. Everywhere you go in this region. I would live here in a heartbeat. Just rolling back into the Roubaix Velodrome now. That's an hour, just a, just about 30k. I'll be about 30k once I get in there. Um, I'm gonna go around the back because it's like a little bit of a back entrance, like where the showers are. And I'm gonna see if I can get in there and take the bike around the Velodrome, even though it is technically closed. All right, I found a back entry. There's just a door open here, a gate. I'm not entirely sure what that means, so I'm gonna take that as I can kind of walk in here. I think there's some people in here doing reno renovations, but like, I don't think they're gonna care that I'm kind of having a gander. And here it is in all of its glory. So, I've got a bike. We're at a famous velodrome. We're gonna take the bike on the famous velodrome. All right, we're gonna sneak around to this gate. And then we're going to try and do as much of a lap as possible. I can pretty much do like seven eighths of a lap, but I don't want to get caught. Amot qui emmène, Kachelara est en bas. Il joue au plus rusé, Kachelara. Amot qui va lancer de loin avec Bakshtep dans la roue. Hoffman est un peu loin. Kachelara me semble en train d'essayer de jouer au plus malin. Oh, quel dommage pour nos deux Belges qui échouent à 200 mètres. C'est parti! Avec Cancellara qui ferme la porte. Amont est juste derrière. Amont va essayer de déborder. Hoffman fait l'extérieur. L'intérieur par Backstedt. Backstedt. Backstedt qui sprint. Et c'est qui qui va gagner Backstedt qui gagne. Deuxième Hoffman. Troisième Amont. Quatrième Cancellara. C'est bon de l'église. C'est bon de mettre la versnelling. Bon de l'inu d'orgat. Daar gaat Tom wonen. Wat doet Hinkepi? Fletcher heeft de inspanning gedaan. Backstedt probeert toch nog terug te komen. And just like that, we have ripped the lap of the famous Roubaix Velodrome. How sick is that? I can just imagine all the people and all the media in here at the end of Roubaix, all the riders coming through here. They start ripping laps, and that's over there where Tom Boonen and Heyman and so many famous cyclists have won. So cool to be here.